All right, welcome everybody to Chalice and Chains. Apparently, I cannot get myself to go on YouTube, but I believe we are streaming to Twitch. We will see, so either way, that's fine. But if nobody's watching this, no big deal. It'll end up on YouTube anyway. So we are continuing with basic fantasy role-playing game, Temple of Tranquility. And this should see the conclusion here. We're gonna see what happens to Eldrazar, the magic user, Cassius and Valdar, our brave fighters, and Salazar, our sneaky thief, who maybe fronts as a cleric, we don't know. Um, and they were on a mission to find the Temple of Tranquility, a rumored temple that might be the location to the fabled Chalice of Life, which is sort of a uh, rumored to um, you know give somebody everlasting life clear all their ailments whatever well they located the temple of tranquility um, after some pretty ingenious <coughs> maneuvers on the on the characters parts uh, including lugging a canoe through the jungle hoisting it up in trees and all of that but they came to the summit of the temple where they encountered the natural guardians of the temple which were some sprites and some shadows and uh, they messed up our adventurers but the adventurers did win the day except they found out that those weren't the only guardians of this temple and so as we left off last time they were surrounded by um, a bunch of elves that came out and essentially surrounded them saying you know not saying anything but surrounding the party who's in a bad way and unfortunately our poor wizard eldrazar is without his spells and so right now you are surrounded by about uh probably i think there was about eight elves all kind of pointing spears at you and they, these elves are completely savage. They're completely, like, they, they've got war paint on. They've got, you know, dressed in sort of natural furs and all of this. They, they look very <coughs> barbaric, very savage. Um, you know, war paint and, 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 and sort of scars all over them. Um, these, these guys are accomplished warriors. And this is the most... In fact, this is the first signs of civilization that you've seen on this island, um, other than you know the the pirates that would have sort of talked to everybody. Um, and so you are surrounded, and one of the, the guys who looks you know he's he's a little bit better dressed than everyone else, right? He comes in, um, he's taller, bigger more formidable, has a lot more war paint, got a lot of like feathers. He's wearing the pelt of like a jaguar where everyone else is is maybe in, in um, you know more natural things. And he also seems to have like the, the heads of like crocodiles or something or the teeth of crocodiles, I should say, on like his belt. So this is maybe a war chief. And he comes up and he kind of jabs the spear at you, not to physically touch you, but to, to menace you. And, and he says, <clears throat> And he's motioning for you to come with him as the rest of his warriors are kind of holding their spears at you. And how will you guys react to right. this situation? How many elves is it again? It's a band, but. Yeah, there's about eight of them. Eight. 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 I will look at my companions and uh, let's go along with this. Right? It seemed to be I would, uh, of number. I would, yes. I would get up slowly, stiffly as if I'm not very well. All right. Maybe to make them think that I'm you know, sore and tired or whatever. Right. And then put my hands up. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll do the same, only I don't have to fake being... <laughs> 
<laughs> tired and I'm weakened because I, I do have a strength damage and I am exhausted from all that spell casting. So Valder says <laughs> you realize this may just mean we will die under under stone instead of in the sunlight. But if you folks think it's best, it's a good day either place. So I'll just our whispers. There's eight of them. And I'm not good for much now. Would you take three each? We need to Yes. We need to wait for a more opportune time to take them out. Strike when the time is right. Exactly. So we'll see. Awesome. They can take us. All right, so we all get up, raise our hands. And as you do so, they kind of prod you along. They're bringing you down this side path um, that's going to lead behind the waterfall that leads to the actual temple itself. And as you pass beneath the water, cascading down, you feel rejuvenated for just a moment. Um, and so I will say any hit points that you have taken are healed. You you will be healed um, by this water. Um, Ooh. Yeah. And anybody who oh, took any... The waterfall. Okay. Yep. Anybody who took any strength uh, damage also has that healed completely. What about curses? <laughs> um... <laughs> Curses have, uh, you, you You know what, actually, you had been feeling very feeble. Yes, that seems to have lifted as well. You feel strong. You feel good about your situation here um, in terms of your health. Maybe not the eminent danger that you face, but we, and so as you do that, you also see the elves, um, as they kind of pass under, they, they look up for a minute, they hold their hands up, and they make these gestures that seem as though, um, you know, they're doing some sort of holy ritual, right? Uh, like a cleansing ritual. And you pass through into this entrance, and it, as soon as you break the waterfall, they kind of shove you with their spears just a little bit trying to tell you to keep moving keep moving but they don't seem to want to move into the temple entrance here um mm. yeah they're they're very much um they seem nervous about this place uh something about it is 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 off and then you realize why as you look into this temple entrance um this is sort of it looks as if if it's been you know hewn out of the rock out of the cave that this waterfall is kind of you know cascading down um but it's good work it's, it's work that you would have seen you know the architecture from back home like this is this it looks ancient and you don't get the impression that these elves probably had the the skill to do this so at some point this had been constructed but the very first thing you notice in this temple is a, this is basically like a receiving chamber, right? And so there's lots of glyphs and etchings carved into the walls. Um, they, and, and elders are you especially immediately start feeling just this magical presence all around you. You felt it as soon as you passed under the water, um, but it's now surrounding you here. And it doesn't feel particularly menacing, but at the same time, it doesn't feel, it doesn't quite feel like the arcane energies that you're used to. Something about this is different, and yet you can feel it. The rest of you guys just kind of feel this sense of almost like electricity in the air. It feels as though something is like buzzing. And you can start to see the glyphs on the walls. Uh, they'll, they'll start to l almost illuminate as if something behind them is, you know, blue and green and yellow and red. Just and, and it's you can tell that it's some kind of script, but it's nothing that you would recognize. It seems it's an, maybe an ancient script or an ancient dialogue. 
Um, and there are there are sort of pictograms as well, and, and these pictograms seem to depict. It's it's hard to tell because everything is starting to kind of erode a little bit, but it it looks like it was this great battle between these two figures. Um, one figure seems to be this gigantic force. Um, seems to be uh, you can't tell if it's just this massive suit of armor covering him from head to toe or if it's something else but it's this giant figure with this giant blade and and then the second you see this almost this shadowy figure but it seems as though there's wisps of of shadow coming off of him um or 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 her or what uh it seems almost an amorphous form and they seem to have two armies with them and they're clashing and all around them is this great it almost looks like a sea or a lake or something some kind of watery structure um and and you can't quite tell but beyond that what what the detail is here but it's this seems to be depicting a scene of either like an ancient battle or perhaps the the battle for the gods and whoever ultimately conquered this temple. Mm, the big one could be Surtur, mm. but none of the gods I know look like that shade. Well, whatever it depicts, we seem to be close uh, to our goal. Mm. The enchanted waters. Seems the legend of the chalice may be true. This might be its hiding place. Look for any signs. See yeah. there's a glyph. Uh, any indication of a, a structure resembling a cup. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll light a torch and start looking at the pictograms. See if there's anything that resembles a cup or a chalice. Absolutely. And as you light the torch, you feel almost this flare of energy. And the torch seems to be giving off way more light than it should be. It, it completely illuminates the whole room, um, casting shadows everywhere. And unfortunately, you do actually see some shadows start to physically move and form in, you know, kind of in the, the temple itself. And you recognize these as the same shadows that would ha that were outside, but they don't seem to necessarily be focused on you. Where before, as soon as you came in, those guys were coming at you. These just seem to be kind of milling about, right? Um, and as the torch mm. lights up, you also see the elves. They, they start hissing. They're like, you know, and they're but they won't get close to you. <laughs> they they won't they won't enter this room. But they're basically like, no, no, <laughs> you know, don't don't turn on, a, you know, don't don't turn the lights on. Um. Mm. But you don't yeah. see. You don't see a depiction of a cup or so, or any kind of chalice. What you do see, though, is maybe the source of why the walls seem to be glowing. It looks as though within these etchings, not all of them, but some of them are, are crystals. Um, some of them seem to have been formed by human hands. Others seem to be natural formations. Um, and those, those crystals seem to be giving off the source of light. Um, and you'll, you notice actually, as you kind of look further, Eldrazar, specifically looking for any kind of details, um, you, you, you pick up on a detail of the battle scene, the great armor or thing, whatever this, this big giant force is, um, seems to have this, it looks like a crystal basically in the chest cavity of of his armor or something and and it seems to be uh and there's actually a crystal um just a little one in this 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 image giving off this little like red light and it'll just pulse um and you get the impression it's almost hmm. pulsing like a heartbeat but you don't see any particular images of chalices or cups or anything like that okay you know what i'll i'll throw the torch towards the uh waterfall and I'll say, to light a candle is to cast a shadow. Perhaps we should be guided by the magic 
by the mm-hmm. uh, 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 strange light emanating from the crystals. I'll draw the uh, the um, stone from my from my from my robes, the 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 crystal that you yep. know. Hopefully, if the need should arise, I'll try to channel energy through it, see if I can create some light. But for now, as long as there's ambient light yep. from these glyphs and crystals and whatnot, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk the uh, Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and so you you know you kind of toss the torch out, and mm-hmm. as soon as it passes you know under the water, it, it dissipates, and and for mm-hmm. a moment, um, that huge flare of light kind of you know dissipates, but you can still see. Uh, there is enough light from the crystals and whatever that you can see, and you do see at the far end of the room. Um, it, there's like sort of natural stone steps, maybe about four steps going up to a kind of a raised platform. And you do see an entrance. Um, and it looks like it was probably the natural cave entrance that they stylized and basically made into like an archway. Um, mm-hmm. It looks like it will go out into a hallway. Um, beyond that, you see kind of the same flickering lights, but you can't quite tell beyond just that port you you'd probably have to to go into the room however you do know that there were shadows um up in that area so how big is the opening is it like the opening like itself doors are huge it's it's door. a bit it's a fairly big archway you would probably be able to walk at least two side by side if not three right. yeah i would like back to, to back. Back. Say again, you broke up. Should we go in back to back? I think we should go in pairs. Perhaps (coughs) Alasar could go on ahead. And uh, Cassius and I could... I I wouldn't mind getting a sample. (coughs) Maybe with my dagger I could uh, pry out one of these crystals out of the wall. If our hosts allow it, I'll try to cover him with my bulk. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to try to go up and and pry out one of the, just like a random crystal or or did you have anyone? Yeah, just just a random crystal. Okay. No, no, random, random crystal. Yeah. And so kind of (laughs) as you come up to the, the crystals here and you start kind of digging your dagger in, um, the, you know, it's pretty much what you would expect. These are these are fairly hard rock formations, right? And you kind of you're trying to get in there, and you you can't ugh, you can't quite get it in. But what starts to happen is um, this this crystal was illuminating yellow each time, and basically each time you kind of poke it with your dagger, trying to pop it out, it illuminates a different color. And what this does, this has a response that one of the elves that was kind of waiting back before starts coming into the room. But you, Salazar, you may not know this immediately. Um, Eldrazar, you would immediately pick up on the fact that his eyes are basically now glowing with that same kind of light. And it's pulsing the same light formation as the crystal Mm. that Salazar's kind of boop, boop, boop. And he comes up to you and he kind of comes up to the party and and then you, and you see like his eyes are like wide and, it, and he's kind of like rigid like he's you know sort of like walking all sort of jerky and weird mm-hmm. and then he opens his mouth but words don't seem to come out instead all all four of you hear words in your head in your native language um and it simply this this voice simply says, "Why are you here?" And Salazar, that would definitely catch your attention, I imagine. As uh, yeah, I'll say Jesus. Salazar. Where are you? What in Walton's name? A mystical connection uh, between the crystal and the, and these beings. Yeah, I, I will I will back off. I will back off from from the crystal. Does uh, this elf's demeanor change in any way? Nope. He's still still doing the same thing. Okay. 
So is this, do we clearly <laughs> notice that the voice is coming from the elf? Or no, it's yeah. not coming from the it's, elf. In fact, not. he no, he's, he opens his mouth, but no sound is coming out, and yet you're hearing something in your common speech in your head, um, in whatever dialect you might speak. So it, it you know... We came seeking the legend of the chalice. And you get it, you get this sense of mild confusion for a minute, and it says uh, the the voice then says, "Chalice, there is no chalice here. But tell me more about this legend that you seek." We seek what every man seeks, immortality. And that seems to have been the right answer. However, you don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but you, you, you get this sense of, of like something, something has changed about the situation, right? And so the voice, you get this almost like laughing in your head. Um, and it doesn't necessarily seem menacing, although the voice itself is somewhat menacing. But it says, <laughs> immortality. Yes, that is the dream of all men. It was once known across the lands, and then it was no longer. I also seek immortality. Perhaps you could help. But I do have one more question for you before I reveal any more. If you were to leave this island would you bring others with you would you return delving deeper and finding more secrets depends on what we find if we if we accomplish our mission there is no reason to return he says the <laughs> he, he says, the minds of men are not so simple. If you find the secret to immortality, with it comes an insatiable greed. So tell me, you, and he specifically says your name, Valdar, and you can feel, right before he does it, you, you can feel this sort of pressure in your mind, almost as if, like, it's He's delving you. Curing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he says, you... Valdar, would you not seek immortality if given the chance? Valdar kind of looks down and then shrugs and says, <laughs> and he shrugs and says, uh, <laughs> um, not really. For my people, for, for, for my people, there's nothing better for a good death. There is no honor in death for Oh, no, there's going to be a fight oh. right here. <laughs> no. So, for myself, I do not take it. philosophical difference. <laughs> and you, you all sort of get that question, um, although it, it's not spoken this time, but you can tell that, that mm -hmm. each one of you is being sort of prompted to answer the same question. If given the chance, would you seek immortality? Yes. Aldrasar will say, uh, uh, those of us closer to death, he's older, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Those of us closer to death seek any escape from its grip. However, uh, uh, there would be no no point in sharing the secret this secret uh, what i seek is for for myself alone. okay and and he this force seems to accept that answer from you um cassius you you said basically yes absolutely um and so just to you you get an, basically another question and you you know that this is just to you um and it says 
And if I could give you this gift, would you share it with others? Bring others to know the power of this place and of myself? No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and finally salazar um you get you also get a this sort of psychic um communication and say saying mm -hmm. and you you carry the symbols of false gods and yet you seem to have a strange faith do you believe that those symbols represent true power in this realm? Oh, I don't know for sure. But I am willing to take my chances that they do represent some power. And they are the ones, the gods are the only ones who can grant such things as immortality. Your, uh, your gift that you offer is no gift. I am sure of it. And I want no part of it. And he says, Very well. It is. It seems that you need proof. And then all of a sudden, the elf basically lunges. Elders are right at you. Um, not with a spear, just with his hands, right? He comes at you and, and like lightning fast, right? And he touches you. And as he touches you, mm -hmm. The light in his eyes just just seems to like illuminate the whole room and it infuses right into you. You feel yourself basically um, being infused with this energy and what it's done is it's provided you with your, effectively with your spell slots back. Um, and it says, and, and the voice in your head is just booming now. Like al almost, it would make you want to cover your ears, except you can't because it's in your head. It's it's almost painful. And it says, now Eldrazar, show your companions the powers, the gifts that I can grant. Get yourself out of here. Pass those shadows and take this. And you see the elf literally like reach up to his face and he, he starts like clawing his face and pops out his his eyes. Oh my god. And and they're not they're not <laughs> eyes anymore. They're little crystals. And he hands them over to you and he says If you travel to the passage to the left you will find an altar. Upon that altar there is a box Put these in that box, and you will be given knowledge and power beyond anything you can imagine. At what price? The only price is that I request one other task of you. You will take these crystals forged into a new, to another room within this temple and help restore me to my proper form, at which point you will be provided with any powers that you wish. Mm. And who are you? And he says, this... yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and, and, you don't actually get a vision or a voice in your head this time. You get more of a vision, um, and it shows the sort of the relief of the battle that you you kind of saw played across the wall. But this is like like an actual vision of it, and you see this radiant creature just in this massive. It looks like like stone armor almost. Only it, it almost looks like it's it's naturally formed and. And again, you see the crystal, this red crystal kind of pulsating in the chest of this giant, gigantic stone sort of figure. And it's it's traveling across the battlefield with this huge war hammer, just, you know, slashing the, you know, the, the, or, or knocking the enemies before him. Right. And you see this sort of tentacly shadowy figure 
on the other side of the battlefield commanding you know legions of undead and all kinds of 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 uh, creatures against this th force and he's just a force to be reckoned with and behind him it, it you don't know if they're elves but they're more they're definitely humanoids um and he seems to have an army and, and they're battling and then you get um you get just kind of in your head the word uh Kalidor, and you take that to be his name i'm sorry uh, very well. And must I do this alone? No. Bring your companions. Let them witness your glory. Let them witness your power. And let them witness the gifts that I will bestow upon you. So, uh, <clears throat> guys, up. Uh, Are we still at that doorway? The entrance? Yeah. Well, yeah, as far as you, you guys were still standing kind of in the main area, you haven't even got on, gone up onto the the sort of raised platform where the entrance is. So I will say we are given a task and offered our will by this. The one you see in the armor carvings, he has fought against... Uh, creatures from beyond death and now offers us a chance at restore him to life. Seems to be danger. What is our goal here? What is our goal? The order and, offers us money. We, and what does he get out of what does he get out of, of this of uh, sharing these gifts with you? Life again, I suppose wishes to be restored to his former self. Mm. Seems he is this not was satisfied. Not our mission. Mm. This is not our mission. We came for the chalice. Sounds... It and I do not within. trust him. It may lie with him. Uh, and, we, and we have no way back. It might behoove us to find out what the hell is in here. Well, we turn around. We turn around and we look back. Can we see what the other elves look like? Do they look of the similar nature? Like they've all changed as no, well? No, not at all. They look exactly like they did before. They don't actually seem to be oh like aware that anything is different. <clears throat> Well, we either go back to the elves, possibly fight them, or we go forward. I say we, we not chase trust this, this being. Uh, You'll get bored after a while, me. I'd say. For, but to each his own. <laughs> I am with you, Dalinar. So I, I take the stones and I, I pouch in my belt, but I carry them. My head. Imagine never having to worry about being hungry again. <laughs> well, imagine being hungry for life. Yep. Eternally. <laughs> for for eternity. The, the voice. Immortality in... without <laughs> youth. Yeah. The, the voice in your head. Eternally. but never dying. <laughs> uh, Eldrazar uh, mentions that my power as it is now extends only to this one being the others will notice you if you are not careful if you leave I can only do so much you must find a way to avoid the gaze of the living in this place you mean inside temple yeah yeah you get the end yes Mm. Yes, I say. And what will you ask? Oh, sorry, you cut out there for a moment. I just. Oh, I ask him. I ask him. Uh, I say, uh, I'll keep that in mind. I ask you, 
do if I accomplish this task for you. I restore you back. And he says, whatever it is that you desire, if you wish to leave this island, you will, you will be able to do so. If you wish to stay and learn more of the secrets of this place, that will be open to you as well. And you said there is no chalice. And he sort of, he says, there, if, it, if by a chalice you mean a, a, a holy vessel of some sort, no, though the waters of this place are only, or uh, the, the properties of the water of this place only extend to this pool. So if you wish to call that a vessel, I suppose it could be. But if, if a physical object is what you are looking for, you will find no such thing here, at least not of any significance. There may be a cup in the treasure chamber, but I do not think it is the chalice that you seek. Mm. Mm. This, these two sayers are poets. Maybe by chalice they meant the damn pool. It is in my, in my people, we have those damn fools. They're at us. Hmm. Well, uh, if there is, uh, at least we know there is a chalice here. Uh, fill your water skins uh, and we'll have some some of these uh, magical waters to aid us in our task. So I will fill my skin with that. And I will tell them, fill the elves bar away. If we go deeper in the cave, there might be other off the side. Yeah, I think the order was confused when they gave us that. They didn't understand what was actually at stake here. The waters are everlasting life. There is no chalice. Mm -hmm. So I will yes. f my skin and, and, and drink a... Yes, and, and as that? you as you kind of go back towards the temple entrance mm -hmm. to put your water skin... Um, you know, kind of under the waterfall to, to, to gather these holy waters. The elves, they are, they're, they're like actively going to stop you. They're like, no, no, uh, you know, they won't say no, but they, they won't. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. And you, you definitely, if you haven't before, you get the impression that they have brought you here for a purpose, but they don't seem to be aware of what has just transpired. So it's clearly mm -hmm. a different purpose from this thing that is Kaelador. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well then, what say you? We go inside or attempt to kill these elves. Even if we kill them, we still have a boat, only a canoe. Yeah. If if that uh, voice that that voice in our heads speaks the truth, maybe our only way back home. So I think we have no choice. I agree. What say you, Salazar? Mm. My hackles are up. I do not trust this voice you, you speak to. That is spoken to us. But I will I will go with the majority on this. Uh, my canoe cannot take us all home, gentlemen. <laughs> This is our only way out of this island. Oh. Where we draw straws and three of us go and one of us stays back. <laughs> and Valdar lead the way. Very good. So, okay, so you ready sword and shield and walks down the hallway. You don't, um, you, you realize that your weapons, if you draw your weapons, will certainly draw the attention of the elves. Um, that are in there. And Eldrazar, you remember get, being given the instructions to uh, hide yourselves from the eyes of the living within this 
place. Uh, oh. If you sir, if you can. Oh okay. So I'll say uh, I will I will look ahead then and see uh, and see what lies beyond. But the elves are afraid to come in here, right? After us, are they? They seem to be. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, so far they haven't done anything until you kind of went back to the cave entrance to try to get the water. All right. All right. Okay. So, so yeah. So let's just head back and go down the pointer. <laughs> I mean, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They won't follow us into. I mean, they're they're, they're staying back, or I don't. I don't know. You want to try? See what happens. Uh, take a step uh, toward uh, toward Cameron and see what they do. Yeah, and you you can make your way basically until you get to the bottom um, step that would raise up, and then all of a sudden a spear comes flying right past you and lands like right next to you. You hear the elves yelling in you know whatever their language is behind you, and you see that they're they're they look like they are ready to advance if they need to. Hmm. They don't want us to go forward. Say, they don't want us to deal with this being. It seems not. Uh, hmm. Well, Maybe I there's another path. I'm here to get told by what to do by a bunch of elves. <laughs> Says I. I can hinder their approach if they try to follow. Uh, how tall is the cavern? Ten um, feet. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, the cavern itself is huge. Uh, it's pro yeah, it probably extends twenty, thirty feet above you. Um, the the actual archway itself is probably yeah, about twenty, you know, twenty feet. It's huge. I'm sorry. Say again. How big? How big the cavern is? The, the really cavern huge. itself is 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 uh, enormous. Um, but the the actual archway itself is probably about twenty feet uh, tall. Mm. Yeah, take a, I, I can I can ward the uh, the entrance at least for a time, because um, I'm I'm thinking of casting a web spell, but I need anchor points. Right, so the camera's too huge. I can't make like a huge web between them and us. So, uh, but I can I can tell them if we can uh, rush uh, into the uh, into the uh, into the entrance. Uh, before they catch us, I could. You know what? Maybe I should just try a sleep spell and see if I can get them. But is uh, there? Is but wait. Is is there no other path that maybe we can? I don't know. Well, it's there's just eight the... of them. There's eight of them, and they they don't seem intent on letting us uh, near cross. twenty of the eight. All right. Yeah. So uh, what I will do is I will use my try to lure them into a source lumber. Uh, be ready to draw your weapons and attack if they do not collapse. It is a gamble, but I do not think I do not think we can proceed either either way. Um, I cannot I can veil myself from their sight, but not all for us. I'd rather you accompany me. All right. So are we yeah. at, uh, yeah. are we agreed? Then stand ready to attack. All right. I, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll draw some sand from my pouch and chant the words of power, and I will cast a sleep spell. So, if these guys have three or, or fewer hit that, they are going to sleep. If they have four or more, they are not going to sleep. So, and as you cast the spell. Mm -hmm you you see the sort of arcane energies pass out you know through your hands and, and into the room and all of these yeah. creatures do seem to f fall asleep including yeah, can, the one yeah. that um that was talking to you originally okay yep um they Ooh, did not nice. make their saving throw Ooh. oh excellent <laughs> excellent uh, hmm. Excellent. Excellent. So Good I job. say, let us go. And, uh, can I go loot one of their bodies? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. So I will say, I will, I'll say this magical slumber will last a few minutes. Uh, and then Why do we not tie them up? What shall we do with them? Yeah. I just want to loot any any which one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, as as they're trying to figure out what to do with them, you're running around looting the bodies. Um, what you find primarily is, you know, spears. They seem to have obsidian daggers on them. Um, and they, they do seem to have, they, they're a more mundane variety of gemstones, um, but, but usually they, they're carrying a little bit. Um, however, probably what you would estimate to be the nicest piece of gear would have been from the war leader, that jaguar pelt. That would probably be worth, you know, some coin back home for sure. That's that's nice. And jaguars are rare back home, so. Well, let's let's strip that off of. All. Take that. Excellent. Yep. Um, nice. Yeah, and then yeah, I mean, you're not sure, but you would you would probably find um, somewhere around. 10 gemstones all, all told. So I give uh, cells our five, and I keep five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, they, do, they do continue to slumber for the moment. Um, yeah, what shall we do with them? It'll only last a few minutes. <clears throat> Let's just go. I yeah. Think. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Let's I say go. We go through the door. I I can I can set up a uh, a little rope trap enough to trip them up if they decide to chase after us. <laughs> can do so quickly. All right, so let's go up the stairs. And so as you go up the stairs, um... oh, so I'm still behind the front. Oh, sorry, you you were choppy there for a minute. I said, so you're ask, you're saying you want me to stay behind and slit their throats? Okay, I will do it. Or, or perhaps <laughs> tie them up. Yeah. Your, or perhaps your, tie your them silence up. is agreement. <laughs> no, I will slit their throats. Okay. Um, <laughs> and as you do... As you as you slit the throat of the first one, and then and you continue to well, actually, as you slit the throat of the first one, again the energy in this place changes. It, it seems as though all of a sudden um, something is different. So everything feels now more intense. Everything feels now almost hostile. Uh, there and it, this seems to be a presence, but it's a different presence. And it, and it seems to be now aware that something is happening. Something is wrong. These crystals um, that are in your hand, Elder Zar, are glowing madly at this point. Um, but Let it, us go by hmm. Thor. Maybe uh, that wasn't the right choice. <laughs> We're heading for that passage. At least... At least uh, yes. Yeah. And... When, when you get to the passage, you notice that it splits to the left and to the right. Uh, those are your only two options. Mm -hmm. I'll say the left-hand passage uh, leads to uh, a place uh, where the Can, voice instructed me to the Wait, wait. We're at a crossroads? Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot two arrows down each hallway and see which one hits first. Um... So the hallway to the left kind of bends a little bit, so that it would impact into a wall. But you get the impress—it's because it's sort of like a, a windy cavern. <laughs> the one um, to the right does travel a little bit um, further in, but uh, same kind of thing impacts on the wall as you see it kind of curve. Hmm. Okay, maybe this thing just wraps around into. Then maybe we'll come full ways around. Uh, let us go left, I say. Okay, check ahead. Left. Yep. Hey, can we take a minute for a pee break? Yes, we certainly can. That would be absolutely okay. fine with me. You don't, You mean you don't have an, an okay. empty 
bottle of Mountain Dew like the rest of us nerds. <laughs> yeah, we're portable bladder, dude. Uh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't have my catheter inserted tonight. <laughs> you could have fooled me, Grandpa. <laughs> Oh man, you guys are messing with forces that are uh, that are big time. Sam, you did not think that this was gonna go this way tonight, did you? <laughs> well, no, but I never, I never plan for it to go a certain way. Um, all I really do is I set up like a general idea. I set up the NPCs or whatever, and then I I roll with how you guys go. So, um, right. but. I knew that certain things would happen based on certain things that you did. So, you know, yeah, I had an idea if you, you know, if you killed these guys, something was going to happen. Right, right. Cool, cool. Okay, yep. right back. Yep. We'll see if, uh, if Valdar will, will get to dine in the halls of Valhalla. <laughs> Sooner rather than later. <laughs> well, he he's pretty happy. He's got his sword in his hand. Yeah, I'm like, man, <laughs> you know, you got the thief had to go off and murder hobo. I'm just saying, like, you know. yeah, I, I was I, I was like, no, an internal yeah. Darth Vader, no, oh no, yeah, it's like, <laughs> right? It's like, Kalador never told you what happened to your father. <laughs> exactly. You told me enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I know. No, it's fun though. Yeah. I um. Oh man, it's yeah. I love. I this is a great uh, setup. I mean, this is really nice uh, uh, setup you thought of. Plus, I keep hearing rush in my head the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was Xanadu. definitely. Nice. Yeah, I definitely sort of had. Well, I hope that it's uh, it's coming through. Um, I'll get, I'll send you guys the link afterwards to the to the, sort of the music that I had for this. It's like this creepy, like sort of Cthulhu weird music on tabletop audio. It, it's neat. Um, but I was listening to it and I was to try to get myself like you know into the vibe. Um, so I think it, I, it should be playing on the recording. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. But yeah, you slit some throats, stuff goes down. That's right. That's right. I don't always play role playing games for seven hours straight, but when I do, I make sure my catheter is installed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh man, did you have a game before this one? No, actually, um, this morning's game. Who had to get you did though, didn't you? Put the... No, I'm getting confused here. I was supposed to have a game this morning of uh, Crawl Thulu, but one of our members didn't show up, so we just shot the shit for an hour. Nice. And then uh, my Empire of the Petal Throne game that uh, the, the, the gent running it couldn't couldn't make it. So, hmm. but actually, you know, sometimes like when we don't get all the players, we just sit and we'll just we'll just talk for two hours. Yeah. You know? yeah. Nice. <laughs> but. Yep. Oh, gaming and shit and just, you know, life. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's funny. I've made this policy now. When, whenever I do campaign games, um, I typically will, will run mm -hmm. no more than four players. Um, and, you know, if one of them doesn't show up, I'll usually either that PC is either sick and can't make it this session, if that's feasible within the story, or otherwise I'll just NPC them. Um, if two can't make it, then I'll typically, uh -huh. depending on the game, I mean, this game you can easily adjust, you know, but uh, just on the fly. But, like, you know, if I'm running FFG Star Wars, I would I would probably then run just, like, a prologue session for the remaining yeah. characters, So and that's a lot of fun because then you can – I mean, I have to improv it completely, which is a little stressful, but – <laughs> you know, then I'm like, all right, let's mm -hmm. dig into these characters a little hey, more. Hey, did you, did you guys see these that were uh, made up? Nice. These little no. patches? OSR patches? Cool. Uh, Thaddeus Moore, he's on G+. Uh, he's had these made up and just uh, $2 shipping to Canada, but they're like 5 bucks a piece. So, nice. But yeah, nice. if you're interested. 
Yeah, I've seen those kind of making their way around G+, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Alrighty. So. And so, Salazar, you... So we you... slit throats and things aren't going to do. <laughs> well, yeah. So far, so, you know, you're, you're all right. But uh, you, um, you've you chosen to take the lead. Is that right, Salazar, to kind of scout ahead and see what's down this passage? Yes. Okay. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. and, and so, as you kind of make your way down the passage, um, it... it kind of snakes along for probably you know 60 to 80 feet um and just as you're kind of getting to the entrance you kind of can see into this room you're still in the shadows for now um and this room looks to contain an altar right so there was a again sort of a, a dais with like a like a raised thing on it and 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 there seems to be this this sort of holy etchings or whatever carved into this altar and and it looks like there's this box it, uh -huh. it looks almost just like a like a small treasure chest um but there's this box on top and it's very ornate very gilded and it's surprising because this box is um is is basically made out of stone you get the impression that wood any wood that would have been in here would have rotted away long ago uh but this is a stone box sitting atop this temple uh or atop this dais and you also notice um eight elves in this room they don't seem to be particularly guarding the room um some of them seem to like they're you know in prayer some of them just seem to be kind of milling about um but you get the get the impression that this is probably the main area where people would worship and are these elves similar to the other ones yep savage looking yep Okay. Same kind of. They they just don't have. I mean, they, you see weapons around, but they're not they're not actively armed. Okay. Um, and they're not aware of me. Not at the moment. I'm not really on my way to make them aware of me. Right. No. Nope. Right. Okay. I will uh, slink back into the shadows and go back to my companions and report what I have found. Eight elves and your stone box on top of a dais of Gizar. Yes. Uh, well, the voice did tell me to deposit the uh, stones in the, in the box and to veil myself from the eyes of the living. So I shall do, uh, shall do just that. Await here and perhaps uh, start scouting the other passage. And then I uh, concentrate once more and speak words of power, and I cast invisibility upon myself. Perfect. Ah, I hate that when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will attempt to go time. inside the room yep. uh, and deposit the uh, the stones with me within the box. So it's just two levitating stones. Walking. No, well, no. I, I would imagine he's got them. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, he's got them yeah. in his hand or whatever. Um, the ultimate question: Does he have to get naked? No. I'm just... <laughs> I don't even want to say all will be revealed because that you know that would be weird in this situation. But um, just just put the stones in your mouth and then they. <laughs> there you go. You realize, Elder, so uh, you guys basically s just see him say some words, do some gestures, and disappear before your eyes, right? And then you can kind of hear the very, mm -hmm. very muffled footsteps walking down the, the passage. Um, Elders are, as you enter the room, again, you realize that this room is illuminated only by these sort of cr the, the crystals and, you know, the strange illumination in the walls. Um, and you notice that as you step into the room, um, where Salazar was, was was very much focused on the dais, you also realize that in front of the dais is carved into the floor is this same holy symbol. Um, and you realize that, the, that this holy symbol is basically this relief of these two figures that you saw from the back locked in combat. Um, mm. So for whatever reason, this temple seems to be both glorifying the mm. struggle between these two or the or the conflict between these two mm. right and 
And on the dais itself, again, is that stone box. Um, and this is just radiating magical energy. Um, but what's interesting about this is that you can tell, Eldrazar, from, from inside the box, there is something with arcane power. Specifically arcane power, where everything else kind of just feels like this strange energy. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but you also realize that it's, you're going to have to open the box. Uh, and no amount of invisibility is going to help you with that. Um, mm-hmm. And so you realize that it's, you may need some sort of diversion or some way to draw the eyes away from the box. Mm. And how many elves are in there? I'm gonna jump on the stone dais. <laughs> you see, uh, you see eight. Eight. Yep. That's our number. Uh, and uh, do the stones that I had saw them before? An invisible eyes have any markings on them or? Carvings no, they don't. They yeah. they they okay. do seem just to crystals. be carved. Yeah, like gems or crystals. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but no no particular markings on them. Okay, and I can't open the thing because the guys are. Well, potentially. I mean, uh, maybe you. But you also realize that your sleep spell only has a certain duration, and that probably those guys are going to wake up at some point in the in the prior chamber. Veldar, do you have a sling? Mm. A sling? I thought I killed them. Well, you, you slit one throat. Did you did you go and kill all of them? Maybe uh, we can say you did if you wanted to, uh, but you definitely that's, felt was my intention. Situation. Okay, then that's fine. So then they won't nobody, wake up. Nobody has any rope. <laughs> I, I have a rope and I, I have, have a bow. I, I, I have a sling. You can tie them, but I yes. didn't. Okay, Selza, you have a sling. Why don't we make a distraction? I got those five gemstones from earlier. You got five gemstones that I gave you. Flick them mm. in the center with yes. the with the sling, and then that way Eldrazar can try and work his little magician fingers and so I'll, get the lock open. Yeah, I'll, so I'll you sneak come back. back I'll sneak you, back so and, you and come tell back them. and tell us. Yeah, I'll explain okay. to you. Uh, the the box is something in there uh, is uh, clearly powerful. The magics of the object in the box would interact with the uh, arcane energies keeping me unseen. And if I touch it, I will be re- So I propose a different plan. Perhaps lure the elves out. If we can get them into the antechamber, I could block this archway with, uh, with uh, another arcane magic and give us some time to explore. Who are the elves praying to? The, the struggle. They are symbols of, again, both mm-hmm. dark, the shadow and the uh, armor giant uh, fighting. It seems to be a temple dedicated. I, uh, I think there's a balance being maintained here, my friend. Yes. And you are about to tip that balance. This temple feels like a prison. A good prison, yes. It is a prison. It is a prison. But there is a balance being maintained here. We are possibly going to upend that balance. Who knows? Would you rather than explore the right hand corridor? The elves in the antechamber will wait. I would rather. I think we should go to the right first and see what is down there. Well, and perhaps, and there are still elves in the antechamber. You didn't kill them all, correct? I think he said he did. He did take. Oh, okay, yeah, so you did. did. Okay, so yeah. there's no. Oh, oh that. I, I killed them all. Yes, yes, oh, okay. yes. <laughs> Say, well, then let they us. They will take not a bother look. us again. And let us take a look. Yeah. I'll, I'll go no. with you, Sal. So I'll go. I'll still invisible. We'll take are a you look. still? Are you still invisible? Yeah. No. It doesn't drop until I do. Right. Aggressive or touch magic. Right. And are all four of you so gonna kind of travel cool. down that other side? But with Eldrazar maybe maybe taking the lead since you're invisible? Yeah. That makes sense. 
I'll cover the the, the mm -hmm. rear end. Okay. So this one, um, you you again w wind your way through the corridors. There is a sort of a large, seems like natural opening in the cave. You're kind of walking through. Um, and it, it, nothing of importance here. And then it kind of snakes around probably about 100, maybe 120 feet. Kind of, And then you kind of come into the entrance of this r very, very large chamber. And this seems to be um, basically have, having been made into like living quarters um, as well as uh, sort of like a contemplation chamber. So it looks like this is probably where those elves sleep and live and cook and whatever there's you know there's a kitchen and there's all kinds of stuff um all of their supplies right this is where that would all be and you see far off at the end of the room um there seems to be an entrance into another room off of there but you can't quite tell what's in the, you you do see th five total elves in this room um three of them appear to be sleeping and uh two of them seem to be standing guard at the entrance to the far far room yeah so to the far I, side. I sneak back and i whisper uh to these guys what i have seen i say uh if this is a temple to balance then perhaps we have tipped it by the slaying of the elves uh, uh mm -hmm. i don't know uh Here's my here's my question. Here's my question. Those elves, they did not want to come in to the antechamber at first, correct? That's what I seem to see. Yeah, until this entity uh, within the crystals seemed to have got hold of them. What what are these elves doing here? Mm -hmm. um, I, you raise an interesting point. Perhaps the other entity mm. lies here as well. Mm. Yes. We do not know enough yet. I know. I wonder... I would rather take on five elves than eight. Mm. Well then. What say you, Cassius? Well, if so many of them are sleeping, three of us can can ambush. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, it's an easy way to get a surprise attack, if not kill one or two of them right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I shall remain unseen and guard. If the other elves in the worship chamber should hear and tr attempt to follow, I will hinder them. Elder Zar, can you not go beyond those two guards and see what is beyond? I could try. See what they're guarding? I could try and watch and see. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe I'll, I'll try and sneak past those. Take a peek beyond. So, as you kind of you know, sneak your way through this chamber. You you hear, you know, the snoring of, of the guards as you're kind of passing them on their little pallets. And, uh, and you, you kind of make your way up to the entrance where the two guards are. And they're both standing there, you know, uh, spears kind of at the ready. These guys look like an elite guard. Um, they're guarding something of, of importance beyond that door. But... You also realize that um, it's unlikely that you're going to be able to sneak past them. Oh, there's a, there's a door. They're guarding yep, a door. Yep, there's an actual oh. door. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like a double that. stone door. I'm sorry, I, yeah. yeah. Well, and you wouldn't have been able to see that from from where you were because it was far away, mm -hmm. and the light is only so illuminating. But okay. um, one thing you do know, Eldrazar, is that as you get close and as you're peeking. One of the guards, you know, the guard on the left, the guard on the right, the guard on the right, his eyes illuminate like happened in that first room. Mm -hmm. And he steps forward. The other guard, again, seems to be oblivious. And you guys would see this as well, right? You would see this happening. Um, 
and he steps forward and his, his head kind of goes back again right and and mm -hmm. and his mouth is opening but no sound is coming out and in your head elders are you hear why have you not taken to the task i set you why have you not reforged the crystal in the box as i asked there are more elves in this uh, place I can veil myself from their eye, uh, but not if I am to complete the task you set me. We are looking at, we're trying to see what lies beyond, uh, to see how best accomplish the task. What lies beyond that door? He says, what lies beyond that door does you no good if you cannot free me from my prison. You will not make it out of this place alive, I assure you. Baraxis will not let you. I take it Baraxis is this tentacled horror uh, you fight. Does he control these elves as well as you? He says, my control in this form is limited. Baraxis does not have the same control as I do, but yes, the elves do his bidding. For now. And is Baraxis trapped in this cavern as well? He is. Uh. <laughs> and he, he then says to you it is wise for you to be cautious perhaps more information will help and then he, he, he basically he stops speaking but he gives you this image um, in your head you're getting this series of images that effectively what would happen is you would you would put the, the crystal into that into that box right and it would reforge this crystal apparently is somehow connected with Kaldor, mm -hmm. yes. And then you would go into that room that, that where those two guards are, and in there is that that big it's thing. Baraxis. You would yeah. no, oh, not okay. Baraxis, but that, that yeah, yeah, right. And you'd put the crystal into that thing, and then yeah. you get the impression that he will then be able to defeat Baraxis, and he will reward you beyond your wildest dreams. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That yeah. sounds so promising. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm. So, so uh, I I walk back and report again uh, to these guys what what information I have gleaned, and I'll say he claims. Uh, well, no, you all heard it. You all heard the explanation, right? Or just me? Yes. 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 Yeah, they would have all been sort of. You, you guys have that uh. shared consciousness, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I do not trust Skaladar at all. Not one bit. Well, he promises you everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, no. These things, so. these beings uh, are locked, represent the balance between light and dark. The other one commands the forces of mm. death. Uh, it is... So he says. So he says, or so he shows in his vision, well, skewed to his point well, of view. Yes, but this is only his point of view. We have not seen... Have you heard from this other entity? No. no. But what then... What we are then are... Side with the story. Yes, but what then are our options? We have yeah, we no other options. We don't have much bargaining or leverage here. Well, mm. would you kill the They need us. Then? No, 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 no. Kalador needs us to do his bidding. He cannot uh, be set free or whatever it is unless we do it for him. That much is true. So perhaps killing yes. the elves as you have thought. So perhaps. Of course. No. Maybe we should talk to. Maybe we should talk to Baratsis. You know how to do that? Maybe we sh 
I I don't I don't know. He's 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 the magic user. <laughs> Uh, do you know I was hoping he would, he would, he would, he walks off, has I was hoping he would cover that idea. Journey comes back, tells us what happened. So now I, I have no, I have no means from this entity right now. I suggest perhaps we go ahead with our plan, heal these elves in this chamber, stand guard uh, at the passage behind us. If the other elves should come and attack us, I will, I will hinder them until you dispatch these these five, then we can make plans. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, have I really want to uh, try to these elves are being one used of the by elves all, both these entities. The water at some point, too. Just to see how that goes. Because apparently they didn't want anything to do with the holy water, either. Or us to or the, the holy water, yeah. Well, so remember uh -huh. specifically, you went to the holy water with a water skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, because we did pass beneath it. Mm -hmm. It's not like they won't, they won't touch it. Just they don't want us taking it away. Is this? Yeah. So I'll stay in, so, the, in, the, in the passage uh, behind. I'm listening to the, to, if anyone should come from, from like the passage we just came through. I'm gonna guard the rear. Okay. All right. You let's do the fighters do All the right. fighting. So we're yeah. gonna try and take these. Mm -hmm. and I would like to. There's low lighting here, so I would like to uh, move silently. Okay. Try and get as close to these two guards as possible. All right. So you go ahead and because roll your bring the attack. Yeah, you want to see if you can get your uh, your backstab. You can just tell me whether you pass or fail. No. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, three. You pass. Then. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, did I ever? Yep. So so you're sneaking along, right. and are you thinking there's going to be like sort of a coordinated effort where the fighters are going to do their thing all at once, or what? What's the plan here? I am, I, I am hoping so. I am hoping so. You know. Well, Vel has the experience. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to stay quiet where I am until they make their move, and then I will spring my attack on these guys. So, <clears throat> Valder suggests we should uh, open with a volley of arrows from here. It would be easier to hold a passage where go in the room with all five of them. All right. Well, then I will say... You guys can certainly make an attack. The the guards are not aware of you. You would absolutely have, um, you know, the initiative. Are they so. sleeping? Can so, I just hold so my sword and go three, over and try and dice one? Yeah, I mean, you could you could just kill the sleeping uh, okay. people. The, there's the two guards specifically at the door that are awake, but yeah. yeah. The thing is that my, uh, I mean, Valder's point is that there and do that. As they wake up, it'll be just a melee. Whereas if we fight from the hallway, they can't surround us. But you know, it limits how many of them can can get at us at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second. It doesn't mean we can't shoot at the guys. On, uh, yeah, the guys are sleeping. You could you could take a shot at. And you can take all the time you want to aim. Yep. You're not a moving target. And Salazar, you do remember, though, that when you slit the throats of these elves, something in the the environment changed, right? That that something became aware of you, something seemed more hostile towards you. So that, I imagine, would be going through your mind as, you're, as you guys are planning this assault. Um, but don't let that stop you. Oh. Sorry, what 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 happened again? I missed that. Uh, <laughs> Calador is not liking it. S Sal no, no, Salazar Salazar was having the the realization, yeah, that 
huh, when I slit those elves' throat and the other thing, the whole environment seemed to change and feel Something a lot more got hostile. Mad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hostile. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. 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 <clears throat> All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm already hidden. I can't do anything about it. I'm there. <laughs> I'm just having second thoughts. You, uh, you guys don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these two guards, they're guarding an entryway. Is it like stairs down, stairs up? What is it? It's just know. a big door. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just a big door? Yep. Damn. Well, look at it this way. If you kill these elves and you wake up Araxis, then we have Can... to hurry and, and wake up Calador and they, you know, talk to each other. <laughs> so was, uh, you I step out of the shadows. Or something. Yeah. I, no, no, I step out of the shadows. I step out of the shadows in front of the, in front of the, el of the, the elves. Oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> um, and yes, yes. The, the, the elves start looking Something's at you. bothering me. Yeah, and the the guard on the right my hands are up okay yep the guard on the left definitely seems hostile to you the guard on the right you can tell he's sort of going through the motions like he doesn't seem like he wants to stab you but the other one is yelling at you in their language you know and of course he's yelling so this is now going to presumably wake up the rest of the people in this chamber uh but he's he's holding uh -huh, his spear at uh -huh. you they're on the Okay, fine. And I'm not making any, any mm -hmm. hostile motions. All right, I, my hands are up, and I'm just trying to calm them. Calm. All right. I am no threat. Okay. But you guys have my back if this all goes <laughs> shit. <laughs> and and so the you guys would realize that you start you see these other guys in the room wake up right and they're like you know they're startled awake at the screaming they're looking around trying to like you know look for their weapons um they they do grab their weapons um and you know they pick up their spears and they sort of start approaching salazar you know from behind and they're they're kind of holding their weapons and and the guard at the door starts like jabbering to them and he's like you you know get them out of here basically he's pointing like send them send them away they shouldn't be uh -huh. in here and i i motion towards the door and like you know what what is that what is that what is that? he at that the puts his spear oh yeah well like as you're motioning towards the door that they're guarding he puts his spear like right up to to your throat like to the point just barely touching it and he 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 kind of shakes his head again the other one seems to be doing nothing he's just standing there waiting mm. is that jaguar okay. bill have any magical power i don't know I, I, now would be a good time to fire your arrows. I'm just saying. Uh, yep, yep. And you could you could literally say that out loud, and they ch they probably won't understand you. <laughs> yep, they won't yep. understand me. Yes. Now would be a good time to fire the arrows. All right, so let's fire some arrows. Oh boy! All right. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. So the fighters can act first and obviously uh Eldrazar, if you wish to do anything because you guys would have surprise uh then we will roll initiative all right so is there a, a i guess is there is there a penalty for firing at the one thing salazar uh not necessarily um just that you know if you miss salazar is there he can get hit. All right. Good luck, uh, Salazar. Mm -hmm. Oh, natural 20. Oh, wow. All right. Awesome. Yes. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Roll me your damage and then uh, double it. That's a three times two is six. Holy moly. Yeah, and he had six hit points. So there you go. So uh, go ahead and just give me the description of, like, what it looks like to kill shot with one, you know, one shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. Yeah, so... So uh, Valdar draws his, his bow. I mean, I can't do it as artistically as Drew, right? But he draws yep. back, 
sites in and uh, and just as uh, uh, he sees uh, Salazar kind of move his head to the side, shoots right past his head and into the guy's chest. Awesome. That was kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> and Cassius, what are you what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to take a shot at um you you realize that the guard on the right who's still alive does not seem hostile. Um you can still target him if you want, but there are the other three that are sort of moving in behind Salazar. If you wish <clears throat> to target one of them, you certainly could. Yeah, I'm going to um grab Valder's shield off his back and I'm gonna what? run. <laughs> and I'm gonna slide it under my feet, and I'm just gonna leaping drop kick into the three people that are trying to run towards Salazar, just to try to knock him down, <laughs> and try to delay him a bit. Okay, interesting. Um, what I think I'm gonna do then in this case is I'm You're gonna have a skateboard you. Skateboard <laughs> Yeah, he's he's doing Legolas taking the shield down the the thing. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Make a melee attack for me. Um, yeah, and we'll see what you get. 19 plus 3, Don't... so 22. Shit, all right. So you manage to oh. kind of <laughs> <laughs> take the shield off Sal ah, Valdar's back, I imagine, much to his chagrin. Um, and then you kind of run, <laughs> in <the hell? laughs> run into the room, <laughs> drop it on the ground, leap on it like you were going to jump on a skateboard that was moving, right? Thanks, pal. Kind of bowl right into these guys and knock them all over. Um, they all fall to the ground. Absolutely. You guys are all kind of in a heap there. Now, Eldrazar, you can act if you wish to at the same time. Um, or you can stay hidden and, and, and out of sight. Yeah. All right. You are muted, by the way. You can. Yeah, I can't hear you. There we go. There we uh, go. I, I, I'm not acting. I'm just listening. Okay. At the corridor, because if I hear footsteps running for enforcements, uh, I'm ready to do something. All right, excellent. And so now, if you all can roll initiative for me, and just roll your d6. Brush myself off. Look at Salazar. You're welcome. Jeez, did you? Three <laughs> of you got. Uh, okay, so let's see. We've got Valdar with a five. Eldrazar with a five. Oh, I got a four. Four. Oh, you got a four. Okay. Um, Cassius has a two. Oh, no. And, man. Uh, <laughs> you got a one. All right. Oh, no. One. Oh, yes. <sighs> okay. Salazar. One. And they get. Oh, sorry. Two. Two, two with my modifier. Two. Okay. Yep. Two with my modifier. My dex modifier, right? Yep. 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 And then they get. Um, they get twos as well. All right. So, Valdar. No, no sorry, Eldrazar. You get to go first. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to delay my action. Okay. All right. Now, Valdar, you get to go. All right. So, Valdar is going to shoot at one of the guys on the floor. All right. Excellent. Go for it. Oh, my God. 18 plus 4 tends to be 22. That definitely hits. <laughs> Four hits. Nice. Four. Okay. So you manage to <sighs> bury your arrow right into the back of this guy. He's not dead, but he's definitely, like, down on the ground, not actively getting up anymore because, you know, now he's got an arrow in his back. It's like, he seems like he <laughs> will likely get up, but, yeah, you definitely hurt him. All um, right. And are you going to stand where you are because you have a good sort of position? Yeah. 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 It's like charging into the. I don't want to give these guys my. Yep. Right. So. All right. So. Cassius and Salazar, you get to go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Isn't there only one oh, left? Go ahead. Isn't there only one guy left? Well, no, that you bowled into three of them. They're all on the ground. Um, uh, Valdar hurt okay. one of them, but there are two okay. still sort of uninjured. The way I treated that was that you didn't injure them; you just simply knocked them prone, so they're easier to to tangle with here. Okay. 
And what about the one? There's one passive guy right next. Yeah, to he seems to oh, not okay. be taking any actions whatsoever right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Well, am I standing on top of them still? Or pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pull back point blank and shoot one right in the head. So let's try that. All right, go for Hopefully it. Hopefully, I don't miss. <laughs> All right, 17. Yep, you hit him. Are you going to try to shoot the already injured one or a different one? No, I'm going to try the uh, different one. Yep. Six. All right, you kill him. So, yeah, you manage to just right, right in the back of the head, you know, arrow. Take some out. Good, because it was point blank. Yep. And... Uh, oh, you know what? I actually, I realized, though, that they, right, okay, so they are also attacking at the same time, though, as you are. Um, so the, the, the guy manages to kind of try to swing at you. What is your armor class, Cassius? 13. 13? Oh, mm -hmm. man, you were lucky. He just barely misses. Um, that is crazy. And then you kill him. As uh, as that happens, and Salazar, um, what's your armor class, by the way? Fourteen. Okay, uh, so you go ahead and, and uh, describe your action for me, and then I'll let you know what happens. What I'm doing? Yep. So I am in front of that one hesitant guard, right? Yes. So I'm going to still just my hands are up. I got a feeling he's not really wanting to get into a fight here. All right. So again, I am not taking a threatening motion towards him. Okay. And you kind of see he looks at you. He it, it looks like he might start to interact with you, and then you see his eyes kind of go up in surprise a little bit, and you feel a sharp pain in your back. The other guard rolled a 16, um, so he hits you with his spear as he kind of gets up blah, right in the back for three points of damage. Oh, son of a... Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> and, Eldrazar, you see that there's really only one hostile... Well, there's one hostile guard left and one pretty injured guard left. Or do you wish to still delay? Still yeah, hold your action? Still delay. <clears throat> and... and and again, half the guards are not attacking, right? Yeah, so as of this point, there's one that you get the impression will not attack. The other, uh, <clears throat> there's technically two guards that could attack. One did, the other one has been injured, so didn't this round. Okay. Yeah, so two hostiles yeah. still, but one that's, that's significantly injured. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm delaying still. All right, then let's roll initiative again. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my lord. All right. Oh, uh, everybody. Two is the number today. Salazar, <laughs> and then everybody else got two. What yeah, is except, going on? Except, except Valdar. Valdar's got a five. Yeah, Valdar's got a five. All right, Valdar, you're up first. Um, yeah, every, and the elves got two again, so. So I'm firing again <laughs> into. Sure. I'll, yeah. I, I, I will go for the wounded one. The wounded one. All right. Yep. So Salazar, they do not, in fact, have your back, it seems. <laughs> but that's all right. No. no. Hey, I shot the one who was going to skewer him. <laughs> You're hey. like, I'm doing my part. Yes, yes, yep. yes. So 12 plus 4, 16. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> that does hit. <laughs> it was like 30 seconds ago, man. You don't even have to roll damage. You, you, will, you will kill that one. Because you said you were going for the injured one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you down. kill him. Yep. Blam. All right. That's... that's... That's a long time ago in a skirmish. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So Cassius um, and Salazar, you guys get to act as well. Um, so whichever would you like to go first, right. go ahead. And you see the elf, um, the hostile elf, is going to attempt to attack Salazar again. But Okay. Um, I'm going to turn around quickly. I've got this spear sticking in my side, in my back. 
Well, he stuck you and then he pulled it out, right? Happens. Yeah. He like. <laughs> oh, yeah, he pulled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because right. he's gonna. So my my as I turn around, my blade comes out of my, out of its forearm yep. holster, and slash across his face. Hopefully across his eyes to blind him. All right. Oh, Nineteen. Oh, nice. Awesome. 19. Yeah. Go ahead and roll some damage. Okay. Rolling some damage. Four. All right. Um, before we resolve that, Cassius, what are you going to do? I am going to throw Valder back his <laughs> And then I am going to stab at the guy that's closest to me, I guess. Yep. All right. So there's just that one guy um, that did get stabbed by Salazar. But yes, you can make an Amelia uh, attack on him and stab him if you want. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. All right. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's not going to work. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. And so what happens is you go to stab at him. He sort of sidesteps and he, he attempts to um, stab at Salazar. But, but because of... Him trying to avoid you and stabbing, he trips forward, and Salazar's blade just right into his face, right into his head. Yeah, and he goes down dead. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. And so at this point, you're now in this room. There are no hostiles left. This one guard is there, and immediately upon those others dying, yeah, you, you feel again the thing shift, right? And this guy, his eyes glow again, and he's, you know, he's, uh, you know, his head goes back and whatever. And again, in your voice, you can hear, Baraxis does not take kindly to his minions being destroyed. You must move quickly. I recommend you take the secret passage in this room over to the first room that you were in. Complete the forging of the crystal and then take the same entrance back here. Beyond those doors, this per, this one will let you in. This one, you can get the impression, is the elf that he's speaking through, uh, will let you in, and beyond there, you will be able to restore me. Then I will make sure that you, res you get out of here alive and with any rewards that you wish. <laughs> so uh, I look at the others. Well, they can't see me, so. Uh, yeah, you'll have to speak up, son. Yeah, I'll speak <laughs> up. I'll say, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh,. Hmm. Well, it's a, it's another entrance to uh, to the chamber, but it's still filled with elves. Uh, uh, I'll I'll try to you know speak to the uh, to the uh, to to Calador's vessel, right? I'll say it's still full of. Uh, 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 if we are to forge this crystal, we'll have to kill them as well. And he looks and he, he, he kind of, you can see the elf kind of motioning with his hand around the, the room and he says, it seems your companions are quite proficient at doing just that. All right, so wait for him to show us the door. Yep, and he does. You see this glowing glyph on the, the passage on the left-hand side. Um, kind of on the western wall and and it definitely it's like one of those things out of you know lord of the rings it's like sort of the dwarf door or whatever um mm -hmm. all of a sudden you can see it there i'll whisper in salazar's ear uh, uh, uh are you are you well uh i i, I saw you were stabbed uh try the water perhaps mm -hmm. it'll help and the uh yeah. I will try a little bit of it. I've had worse. But yes, I will try. I will you... take a sip of this water. And I also whisper, perhaps, check the iron doors. If they are locked. Mm -hmm. um, 
Okay, so we will assume that you did get a little bit of that water of life in your in your thing um, before they were like, get out of there. But yeah, so that's fine. So yes, then uh, Salazar, you would be able to restore your health. You do realize that the big double doors are absolutely locked. The one elf that's still here has a key, um, as well as the one, the guard that you killed on the ground. Can I loot the corpse of the big oh. guard that we killed? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Let's let's Yep. I mean really I'm the only guy uh... who's willing to loot a dead corpse in this party, hey? Okay. Yeah, hey who, who is going <laughs> real old And you see that there the... is no there is no art in looting the dead. <laughs> <laughs> the the other elf he's sort of just like almost inanimate at this point, right? Like it almost seems as though like when Calador kind of enters him it it takes a lot out of him and now he's sort of just like well i'm gonna tie and gag him just in case he wakes up and runs for help okay mm. absolutely um yeah. and yeah cassius you you loot that 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 body as well you do find the the stone key that seems to unlock these double doors um there is also a uh, he's got a little pouch on him that um has another five of those little gems in it um, as well as his uh, his spear and his obsidian blade, his knife. But that's about it. Cool. I'm going to take that obsidian blade. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, try and the key to the door. Absolutely. And as you try the key to the door, um, you kind of put that in. You know, just this... And you can hear this sort of, and then these like glyphs and runes in the door all of a sudden illuminate and they start pulsing. And then the door kind of opens just a little bit. You can tell that it unlocked. You'll have to push on it if you want to open it. And I assume you do so. I'll step back because that's that's <laughs> that, that's not my department. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's do it. it. It will definitely take two of you, one to push each side. Um, Cassius, will you, since you seem eager to find out what's in here, will you push in? Hmm. <laughs> some hesitation here. Do, do I want to take the chair? I'm going to roll for myself on it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys push the door open. It's like Two Face. Let's flip the coin. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so, before you, seems to be the wealth of of a nation, right? Like, I mean, just stacks of gold coins and silver and gems. Um, these, I mean, these are minted coins. Um, you see all kinds of you know, fine cutlery of silver. You see, you know, rings and you see necklaces and all kinds of stuff. Um, and Eldrazar, there's definitely some magical items in this in this room. But what stands out above all seems to be this gargantuan stone. It, it almost kind of looks like, you can't tell if it's armor because you can't actually see any way to get into this thing. Um, mm -hmm. It might be more like a, it almost looks like a statue. And it's definitely got a big sort of hole in the middle with this ornate, you know, stuff around it, which from your vision, you would imagine if you put the reforged crystal in there, it will. That's where it goes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is tremendous wealth here. Um, and and Eldrazar, like I said, you would likely be able to find, uh, you expect that there are some some goodies in here as well. Nice. So mm. let's yeah, look around. I'm gonna try and look around, see what looks magical. All right. So um, you get there are. I'll just describe what you get, and they're all from the book. Um, there mm -hmm. is a ring of water walking, which is on Ooh. page 139. Is he to detect magic right now? Yep. Yeah, he's. I. One of the um, alternate rules I did was he could detect magic at will. Can he detect what my jaguar belt does? 
your Ooh. Jaguar belt does not give off any magical properties. It's just a but Jaguar it's belt. Expensive. <laughs> yes. But it's expensive, man. Yep. Yep. But it looks really, really nice. Yes. That would be stylish. Um, stylish, yeah. It's suede Jaguar. You, Eldrazar, you in particular find a piece of, um, it, it looks to be carved from the the giant wood, you know, the trees that would have been on this island, but it's a wand. Um, and you can't quite tell yet what this is, but with some magical study, you expect you would be able to figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. You also find a what seems to be a large sack that um, is made out of some kind of burlap, but it's giving off some kind of magical aura. Mm -hmm. There is a pair of boots. Um, these you would have been aware of from back home. These are elven boots, page Ooh. 142. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, there is also um, a great helm. And this helm, you know, it seems to, and I mean, forged, you know, out of steel, right? Seem extremely ornate, seems to have um, been forged almost in the visage of, um, it's kind of like the face of that construct thing that you see in there, that big stone mm -hmm. thing. It, it, it looks it, like yeah. this might have been like a holy helm um, of, of one kind or another. Um very nice, I'll say. So far, you haven't been able to identify any oh, of these oh. things. The one you, you were able to identify beyond the elven boots uh, was the ring of water walking, which is nice, because if you need to yeah. walk on some water, you can do so. Yeah. So I'll take the wand, and I'll point out uh, to the guys, I will say, the helm is enchanted. Uh, might be of use to Valdar. Uh, the boots... Uh, are those made fashioned by us? I will allow you to move silently. Perhaps our thief might benefit from those. And the sack. Possibly, possibly. I know not. I know not what it does. But, uh, there are ancient rumors. Uh, uh, sacks which uh, are larger on the inside than perhaps some of this treasure we might be able to take. Tesseract uh, sack. Nice. Uh, and the ring uh, allows you to walk on water. Uh, uh, Valdar, do you want this helm? I do not think I will wear the helm of, of an evil god with the such of an evil god. Hmm. Now, the well, ring might you... come useful should I ever... Go get a chance to or walk again. So well, how about you then, uh, Cassius? Do you have you tell me? I, th I, th uh, I imagine no. Cassius is doing like snow angels in the gold. He's just like, yeah. you know, like yeah. tossing yeah. it up, you know. And, yeah. -la -la. Um, you do, you do find uh, a silver like you know goblet or whatever in there mm -hmm. um it does not seem to give off any magical energy but uh you mm -hmm. know among mm -hmm. other things plates and trays and and silverware and pearl necklaces oh, oh, oh. and all kinds of stuff okay. yep it's as so, much money as we could possibly carry uh, so Cassius, do you want the uh do you want the helm oh, I'm, I'm good on the helm you don't want it no i just wear my bandana and my hood all right, so I'll I'll open the sack and see if, if you know put in some money, and then close it up, and then open it up again and and upend it and see if it if the money comes out again. It does come out. It seems though that it takes quite a bit longer to fall out than you would expect it to. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll throw the helm in there as well and. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm guessing Salazar won, right? The boots? The boots, yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I'll keep the one. We'll take the boots. Yeah. All right. And, uh, Throw in this Jaguar belt. 
Uh, it is magical. Mm. It'll make you very rich when we reach <laughs> our homeland. <laughs> uh, and, mm -hmm. um, is there, is there another, uh, is there another entrance, entrance or nexus on this chamber? Do you want to look for one specifically? Like take some time uh -huh. to look around. Yes. Yep. yep. Yes, takes time. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. In fact, Salazar, you do find that there seems to be a secret passage um, on the sort of northwestern wall out of this chamber. Um, it, it actually is secret in the sense that, like, it looks like it may have been actually fairly recently, almost like a tunnel was mm -hmm. through the rock. Um, so this is right. this is not what was originally part of the architecture. Hmm. Okay. Um, and it's quite small. In and fact, is it an, uh, a normal size? No, oh, okay. you you would literally have to like crawl through it. You wouldn't be able to stand up and go through it. You'd have to kind of crawl yeah. your way okay. through. Yeah. All right. Um, I think it's I worth investigating. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to light a candle and I will crawl through it. All right. See where it leads. You light a candle you crawl through mm -hmm. and the other end basically brings you out into this room with this great big pool of water in it right um and it looks like there's water trickling down kind of from up above a little bit not in a cascading waterfall like before but whatever um and just around the pool is just this like stone walkway um there does not appear to be any life forms in here that you can see um but the how pool long? what's that well, how long was the tunnel that he took um you it wasn't very long or, okay. no you well if you were kind of peeking in you might barely be able to see his light um at the okay. at the very end yeah it was probably 30 or 40 feet okay. um but this okay. this this area this room that you come out into salazar is huge it's probably you know 200 feet in diameter um, it's, it's very big oh, wow. and, and again, yeah, that pool, but what it does seem to do is it, there's a very slight, um, decline. So it looks like the floor would sort of decline down into this area. And that's, what's making this natural pool of water. Interesting. Yep. Um, okay. this seems to be the least and, uh, place light sources? in here. Uh, this, the same light sources that Very have nice. been throughout this whole temple, those glowing crystals. Salazar, what do you see? From the uh, I see a pool of water, a, a large, large chamber beyond here. Uh, I'm going to just give me a moment. I'm going to go um, to the pool of water, and I'm going to take my dagger, and I'm going to slice my hand. And then I'm going to dip it in the water. And did the rest of you guys come through the tunnel Doesn't at this heal. point, or? I I will go in. Uh, yes, yeah, I follow. Have a description. Yeah. I'll, I'll follow. And All right. Yeah. So as you guys go in, um, and and you kind of make it out of the tunnel, and you see Salazar cut his hand, dip it into the water, mm -hmm. um, and two things happen. Yes, Salazar, your wound does heal up um, almost immediately. Also, you start mm -hmm. to see the pool ripple you know, and the water starts to bubble a little bit and oh. you can tell that something is coming up from underneath this water. And as it does, mm -hmm. so you see this head emerge and it's just this weird looking creature, sort of a, a grayish look to it. Very foreign. Um, this, and, and beneath it is these eight tentacles um, kind of, you know, helping it to stay Ooh. afloat. But it's, the only difference ah. here is that this thing looks almost as if it would, it, it was like trying to form a, a human face um, on what you might know as like an octopus, right? But it's not quite formed. And okay. here is the race, resting place hmm. of Baraxa, it seems. This is Baraxa, yes. Yeah. Yes. And as that happens, um, okay. you again, you get a very similar sensation to the one that you had before when you interacted with Kalidor. Um, but he says, 
Who gives blood sacrifice to the mighty Paraxis? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Everybody kind of moves away from Salazar. Okay, yeah. we go back Whoa. down the whole tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, no. Oh, I mean, I, he, he I suppose that was—I suppose that was, yeah. I suppose that was me. Uh, yeah, that was me. And I am Salazar, and I just did that. Salazar, the human. Your blood sacrifice, uh, yes, was much appreciated. What brings you to my oh, temple? Oh, oh. Um. Well, we're kind of this guy Calador. He's got some crazy ideas, and we're just really not too sure about him. So, uh, we wanted to get your side of the story, you know. And you hear, so, uh, you heard of Calador before coming here? Uh, yeah, yes, we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he seems he really us... concerned about this. <laughs> yep. Um, how, okay. how did his, his name get off this island? What are his tricks? What is he up to? Oh, no, 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 no. He spoke to, he spoke to one of my companions, uh, with his, uh, mind, uh, words. Uh, uh, um, yes, uh, <clears throat> I, I have never heard of him before I came to this island. Good. So Better. he wants us to do something for him, but you know what? I, I want to see if, if you need us to do something for you, and then maybe you know we can work out something it's beneficial to everyone. <laughs> he says, "Ah, uh, yes, he wanted you to reforge the soul crystal. I bet you did not." Ah, the so yes, yes. No, 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 no. Would that uh, upset you if we did that? It would indeed. You see, he would come and defeat me. Do you have the crystal? Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, I'm not at liberty to say at the moment. Uh, you, know. you see this giant tentacle come up and it starts to, to like make its way towards you. Um, and he says, bring the crystal to me. And you get the and? impression he's, he's, he's going to grab you if you don't. <clears throat> better and better. <laughs> Uh, but I just gave you a blood sacrifice. I mean, I thought we had something going on here, you know? Like... He's going to attempt to wrap the tentacle around you. Do you want to resist? I'm going to throw one of the obsidian daggers at <sighs> I have two. You want yeah, to? Yes, yes. Oh, I, I'm going to try to resist. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Well, don't, yeah. don't you don't. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just basically make an melee attack. What's your um, armor class? Okay. 14. Oh, yeah. Well, he rolled a 15, so he kind of grabs you yeah. and hoists you up. You don't take any damage because um, he's not trying to hurt you. Um, but yeah. yeah, but he lifts <laughs> you up and he starts pulling you towards this like face of his, right? And then. Uh, right. Cassie says, You're kind of getting ready to pull the obsidian dagger out and, and throw it he says I wish no harm upon you or your friends but I cannot let Calador take this crystal and have it reforged you have made smart decisions thus far pray don't ruin all of that with a foolish one now and you guys all hear this at this point but you realize that this I mean this is it this isn't even necessarily in your head. This actually sounds like words, but they're being sort of reverberated off the wall. So it just sounds a lot bigger than it is. Um, he might be physically speaking out of this form. So I'll, I'll yell out, are you trapped in here with him? And you see the, the sort of eyes looking around. Um, I assume you're still invisible. Oh, well, if it still works. <laughs> um, yeah, because I don't think you took any things. actions um, that would have yeah. that would have actually. Well, I touched, I touched the magic one, so I think. All right. The well, magic yeah, that, that could be. Um, so then he does see you and uh, and um, 
He says, trapped in here. Yes, I've been trapped in here for an eternity. I have been able to possess this body, but I must stay in this water for this body to survive. I need something stronger, some something willing to share its soul with me so <laughs> that I may end my captivity and free this island from the curse that it is under. Well, good luck with that. Um, um, yeah. Good luck finding somebody. Let in... us know how that works out for you. Yes. Uh, would you like us to uh, spread the word that you're looking for a vessel? <clears throat> um, and he, he, at that, he says, I will tell you what. There are no ships available on this island. However, I do have ways of sending you home. You give me the crystals, and I will send you and your friends back to wherever it is you came from. And then if you would tell people, tell your people of Baraxis the Great, have them come. They can worship. They can give blood sacrifice. I'll, I'll ask it again. Uh, I'll ask it. Uh, you have been fighting Kalador. Uh, 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 why do you fight? Why must you always fight? And at that, he kind of, Salazar, he, he slowly lowers you down onto the bank. Mm -hmm. And he kind of, the whole form of this octopus basically comes up and, and he, he kind of gets close to you, Eldrazar, and he says, because he presses the fight, and so I must defend. Again and again, we clash. He is immortal, as am I, and so is his desire for blood. I will stand I in say, defense of, of the people of, of man as long as Kalidor is there to try to bring destruction to them. He wow. stands in defense? Say again? He's, yeah, he yeah, says, the, I, I stand in defense the of the one... lives of men. As long Everyone as the ugly one here. is our champion, basically, the <laughs> the nice appearing one is the evil bad, bad guy. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what I'm gonna yes. do? I I cast a spell. Okay. I'm going to cast protection from evil. Nice. Okay. And then I'll ask it. Uh, then uh uh give me your hand or your tentacle i guess <laughs> okay because i want to see what happens if can he touch touching me? tentacles now eloy huh? really what? are you doing touching tentacles now <laughs> yeah hey it's the price of being the wizard he, right he's not the guy who was grabbed though so and his his big tentacle comes out mm -hmm. and like with the big suction cup. And I mean, this thing is bigger than your head and it's like, it's basically yeah. coming right at your head. And then, you know, it kind of the slimy thing just slowly like caresses down your body, making like mm. your whole body just, you know, all slimy and gross. But it yeah, you, can, you, can, it you, you can see Valder go, oh, by the gods, man. Uh, so I'll say, to, you. I'll say to the rest of these, uh, uh, things may not be uh, what they seem, and it seems the time has come for us to choose. Uh, if we would get out of here, then we must uh, choose a side. It's either Calador or Baraxis. Uh, this spell was meant to keep the forces of evil at bay, and yet he can touch me with impunity. Uh, I say we throw our lot with him and take our chances. What say you? There's a chance he's just a mightier mage than you. But there is always that. But I say this is this is uh, the best way out I have seen. Uh... Yes. So I tell him. I I believe I believe what Baraxas has been saying. So I'll say Baraxas. Uh, 
Uh, do you require the restored crystal or the shards? And he looks to you and he says, So you are the keeper of the shards? I... I can give them to you if you wish. And he he does. He looks to you and he says, So it was you that was chosen. Interesting. And he, he looks to you and he says, You must have been someone of, of great power in your lands. Would you consider increasing that power beyond anything that you could ever imagine? Let us just go, man. No, I have come to see that these arguments uh, with you and uh, Kalador incur a higher price than I, than I am willing to pay. I would give you these crystals if you get us home. He says, very well. You give me the crystal, and he kind of he hold he puts out his little uh, thing, and that you know it's like one of his little mm -hmm. suction cup things. You could put the crystals right in there, and I will send you home, safe and unharmed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll draw out the crystals, and I'll put them. Awesome. And as soon as you put the crystals into his tentacle, he mm -hmm. grabs all of you guys with his tentacles, right? Wraps you up, sucks you under the water, and then he kills us. No, no, <laughs> nope. And then, um, the and then, no, and then, as, as soon as you <laughs> oh, enter the yeah, water, okay. it's amazing, right? Because it does feel as though you're drowning, and yet you don't die. And he he plunges down. And you're surprised because this this seemed like it was a natural pool, but you realize that this leads into the ocean. And then what he does is um, he you can feel this surge of energy. He's going faster and faster and faster. You can feel the surge of energy. And um, who's holding the the bag that that you guys had all the loot in? I think I was. I don't know. Eldrazar. Eldrazar. All right, Eldrazar. Yeah, you you yeah. can yeah. you can feel. Um, this like something vibrating in your bag and then all of a sudden there's this flash of light pew, and you guys are back standing on land soaking wet perfectly healthy um nice. in the um city of ravenstone in the western oh, lands um nice. by thor and odin this baraxus is a is a a tentacled monster of its word. A strange adventure, mm -hmm. my friends. My canoe! Is the... Is, oh, <laughs> is, the bag, is the bag still with me? Is mm -hmm. it, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll upend it a little bit, see if coins pour out. They do. All the stuff that was I'll in it say, all pours out. So I'll nice. say... Uh, this will buy you a new canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and um, can do one more. <laughs> you do notice that the this, that the uh, helm is must... glowing white hot. By the way, the helm. That's right. Toss it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll toss it out into the sand. Uh, oh, jeez, is it, is it still glowing white? Yeah. yeah I mean, must... it, it seems as though there was a major surge of power that came from it oh, or okay. through it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not hot. Like like. Without touching, Wizard, does it feel? Did, huh? no, Wizard, no, did you know this would happen? Where you kill me? Yes, it seems. <laughs> it seems like it was a dangerous thing. Though I, I is it is it hot? Can, can not I physically. Touch it? No, yeah, you can touch it. Yeah, so uh, I'll touch it yeah. and chuck it into the ocean is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So can we go and talk to the order and confirm that there's no chalice and everything that we discovered? You certainly could. Um, yeah, effectively what would happen is you guys have mysteriously shown up on the um, in the city itself of Ravenstone. Um, and if, if you're familiar at all with the with the Western lands, um, that's not on the water. That's not on the coast. So you're in the city. People are like, what? You know, what's going on here? And um, no ocean to chuck this thing in. Right. Yeah. No ocean. You probably just chucked I, it. Yeah. Um, no, I keep it in the bag. Oh, you keep it in the bag. Okay. That's a good Until choice. Until we can dispose of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's people looking around and um, you guys would know that the, the Countess 
Olga is the one who um, who runs this place. She's the leader of the town. Um, but there are the Order of the Chalice sort of people here. The problem is that this city is very well known to be very shady um, and Olga is extremely superstitious. So you would be able to seek out the order, but for right now, you, you're big, <laughs> you might have some questions that will need to be answered. And mm -hmm. that's where the session would officially end. I think it would awesome. be, um, you would see the sun starting to set over Ravenstone. Um, and just as you guys are kind of making your way through the city, maybe to look for a tavern or something like that, with the whole city buzzing around you, right? Um, you the the sun would just peek down below the horizon and you would have mm. that eerie sort of mm -hmm. red glow over everything and just mm -hmm. as that happens um Eldrazar, you you kind of hear this voice in your head and say mm -hmm. that says lead them back to the island <laughs> lead them and you back will be you. you will be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams <laughs> <laughs> and then then it ends nice. awesome the credits roll man awesome. great i this love was, this I, this nice. is such an interesting setting i love this, it this is very cthulhu howard conan mystery thing right I, I, I love it. and you even had kind of yeah, a barbarian yeah. in the group plus yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so awesome. you know you have found the fabled waters of life um could that could that be mm -hmm. the very chalice that the order of the chalice seeks? We don't know. Um, it may need further investigation. Ah, yes. Maybe we. Should I love send, it. Yeah, maybe we should be sending there them there, and uh, maybe Baraxis is. Uh, Baraxis did ask us something that they would like to worship. Yes. I'm. You know, I'm. I'm very grateful to the master and all. But I don't know if we want to send them worse. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yep. right. and, well, uh, they'd have to deal with Kalidor too. Yeah, I think I think that uh, I think that those two are welcome to fight for eternity in that blasted island. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. remember yeah. that you yeah. you gave something to Baraxis that he hadn't had before, right? He he has yeah. the soul crystal, and so who knows the implications yeah. of that um right. you also we don't. <laughs> you also know that no, that that Baraxis was able to take was able to possess a physical form um true. but for some and reason some he couldn't there. yeah but well but so he had sway over those elves so maybe it's curious that he didn't possess those elves but he did mm -hmm. tell you Eldrazar that he needed a willing a willing host. soul yeah. a willing host to share uh but you know body with him and so yeah. um maybe yeah. maybe because uh, so, uh well as far as the uh, yeah, elves don't have a soul as far as we know i don't know well yeah, or they weren't willing to share it with a whatever. with a scary guy yeah. um, or they weren't willing yeah. to share yeah look with that. he has like a special relationship with yeah yeah good luck with that yeah <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I, I will I miss the part where you got those I missed the spark part where you Elazar got the, the stones. Did you the, did you actually go into that into that chamber no, with the eight elves? No, no the no, first elf that the glowing eyes tore out his eyes and it turned out it were the gemstones and he gave them to me. Yep. Yeah, he was supposed oh, to put okay, the stones okay. in the box. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he was supposed to put those in the box to oh, make okay, okay. Yeah. okay. To reforge the soul crystal and, and okay, help him. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll tell you guys what all the magic items were. Um, you did get the Ring of Water Walking, uh, which was on page 139 mm -hmm. of the book. The wand is actually a wand of fear. And it nice. has, yep, it has 10 charges. That was on page 140. The bag is a bag of holding. Nice. Obviously, the boots were elven boots. And the helm is a helm of teleportation, page 142. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Nice. So it wasn't so, bad. Yeah. yeah. So you got those. Um, you also would have a, I would presume, a crap ton of like gold and gems and stuff in that bag. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And so yeah. you will have a lot of loot. Um, and I would say 
for the purposes if if you guys w will ever want to continue these characters in you know in order of the chalice game um uh, I will say that you, between these two sessions, you've gained enough XP to level up to the next level. So. Oh, nice. Yes. Nah. Okay. Super. Super. Great. Hey, I, I had, I had a blast. Right. This was. Great. This was fantastic. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I was, yeah. I was hoping Thank it would you, be. Man. I, uh, I wanted to mix, you know, kind of that dungeon crawl, cool. but with the big sort of um, scary epic like what is going to happen here story yeah. um so well, it's all about cool. the story uh -huh. for me it's always yeah. been all about the story so this is great yeah nice i know i can't yeah. believe you guys well well didn't I, th I thought up. for sure that you would you would have just like cast invisibility right away and gone into that room with all your friends and then just like you know because i think you could well, cast it a few times right just twice twice okay most. yeah so and i had i had one memo when yep right so I only had one use, and it's for one person. Yeah, so that's I could have taken two, so I would have had to betray the other. Oh, that's so, true. You took Web. No, I no. forgot. Yeah, that you did that. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, I was like, oh man, he he should have just done it. Reforge the thing, because yeah. I'll tell you what would have happened had you reforged the 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 thing. As soon as uh -huh. you pulled it out, um, uh -huh. Kalidor would have been able to possess all of those elves, and so oh, you you would have just nice. been able to march right down to the to the thing nice. and yep um because that would have just exponentially increased his power and then who knows what that would happen if would yeah. Happened. yeah yeah <laughs> nice um, yeah yeah bad feeling about that guy yeah <laughs> oh i will give you guys one more sort of thing that your characters would experience um that evening in ravenstone um after sort of having so some explanations hey we you know this is what happened but you know magic is not unheard of in the realm they've seen weird stuff before you're you're in your tavern you know you're sitting down you, you know it's 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 in the evening and you might be just getting ready to retire um and as you go to sleep or maybe you can't sleep um because of the <laughs> thinking about the events but probably around three o'clock at night um you get all of you get this vision of this sort of skeletal being um in this icy kind of passageway or icy kind of chamber or something um and you start to hear these words in in a language that you can't understand um but it, it sounds like there is this this uh Maybe it's a chant or an incantation or something along those lines. But and then and then your vision sort of takes you on this journey um, out of this chamber, down this mountain passage, across these snowy plains to the very city of Ravenstone where you are, um, and you realize that there is some evil malevolent force in the Demon Frost Mountains on the continent where Ravenstone is. Um, and when you wake up the next morning, you find out that everybody in the vill in the city had the same vision. Mm -hmm. And at some point I will uh, off camera or whatever, I'll reveal to you what the words actually said. Awesome. awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Yep. Sign me up okay. for the next session. Sounds good. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Cool. All right, well, I know um, yeah. you guys are all exhausted, so I want to let everyone go here. But thank you guys so much for playing. Um, yeah, we, you know, I'm loving basic fantasy. We might have to figure out what those mysterious words were and who this, you know, evil being was at some point. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I that think was we that. Will. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah. signing off.